I've learned that even at the age of 49, you can still live and feel like a 12-year-old child when your mother is talking to you. And I've learned that when I want advice, I can call my best friend. But when I want sympathy, I call my girlfriend. And I've learned that you shouldn't let a day pass without making at least one person feel good. And I've learned that the size of a house has nothing to do with how happy it is inside. And I've learned that if you're too busy to do a favor for a friend, then you're just too busy. I've learned that if you pretend like you're taking notes, the teacher won't call on you. I've learned that once a relationship is over, you experience more smiles than tears. Then it wasn't a waste of time. I've learned that money doesn't buy class. I've learned that mothers don't have time to be sick. I've always learned the best compliment for my children that my children gave me was that they said to me that they would like to have a marriage like me and my husband. I've learned that when a friend has had a fight with a spouse, he or she can call them every name in the book, but you had better not, or you're in big trouble. I've learned that when I can't sleep in the middle of the night, I find a great joy in watching my husband and children sleeping peacefully. I've learned that you need to close the door to your house before you rescue a chipmunk from your cat. And I've learned that if you cut your meatloaf into pieces, your parents will think you ate some of it. I've learned that boys only rub your back to find out if you're wearing a bra. I've learned that whenever I'm a, in a big hurry, the person in front of me isn't. I've learned that you shouldn't always bail your children out of trouble, even though you want to. I mean, that whatever else you like to cook, people will remember your homemade soups and biscuits. I've learned that even men love to be romanced once in a while. And I've learned that little boys cannot move about the house without making car sounds. I've learned that I don't have a right to complain about something if I had the power to change it and didn't. I've learned that we should be glad God doesn't give us everything we ask for. I've learned that my own grown children remember the treasures of things that we did rather than the things that we bought. And I've learned that my older brother does not like me to fold his underwear. I've learned that it's those small daily happenings that make life so spectacular. I've learned that simple watch with my father around the block or summer nights when I was a child did wonders for me as an adult. And I've learned that you should walk in a creek every once in a while and every chance that you get. I've learned that my children expect as much from me as I expect from them. And I've learned that the thing that gives me the most joy is writing to my eight, three-year-old sister. I've learned that one of the things that gives me most joy is to write to my 83-year-old sister. I've learned that when my parents say, it doesn't matter what we think, you are the one dating him, they hate the guy. I've learned that I shouldn't weigh myself every day when I'm on a diet. I've learned that my grandmothers and mothers with, I've learned that grandmothers are mothers with a second chance. I've learned that nothing is really working unless you would rather be doing something else. I've learned that nothing is really work unless you'd rather be doing something else. I've learned it doesn't matter how young you are when you get married as long as it is to the right person. And I've learned that you should take a wet washcloth and a Ziploc bag on field trips. I've learned that if you're happy, it will be because you put others before yourself. And I've learned that life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer it gets to the end, the faster it goes. And I've learned that only lonely places in the heart can be filled by volunteer work. And I've learned that the way to a child enters a house after school tells me and tells you how his day was. I've learned that the more mistakes I've made, the smarter I get. I've learned that when my spouse has failed to fulfill my needs, I, highly, I am highly and it is highly likely I've also neglected hers. I've learned that a nap in a hammock on a summer's day is the best sleep I've ever invented. I've learned that being kind is more important than being right. I've learned that words harshly spoken are difficult to retrieve as feathers in a gale. I've learned that just because two people argue, it doesn't mean that they don't love each other. It's just because they don't argue, and it doesn't mean that they do. And it's because they don't argue, it doesn't mean that they do. I've learned that all people have both good and bad traits. The secret of happy marriages is to concentrate on your spouse's good traits. I've learned that when coming home from college, if your little brother wrestles you to the ground, it's his way of telling you that he loves you. I've learned that older people in my family have a wealth of knowledge to share if I just ask them. I've learned that no matter how serious your life requires you to be, everyone needs a friend to act goofy with. I've learned that you should never say no to a gift from a child. And I've learned that you should never wear your swimsuit on a two-hour ride in the car. I've learned that you can never be too good as a listener as when a friend is in need. 
I've learned that using a dollar's worth of gas to save 25 cents on a crosstown purchase is, is poor economics. I've learned that I can always pray for someone when I don't have enough strength to help him in some other way. I've learned that when my baby thinks he's hungry, it doesn't matter what I think. I've learned that you should never eat a Butterfinger in front of a hungry dog. I've learned that you can kill a cockroach with hairspray. I've learned that there's something better on a rainy, on a rainy day than soup, television, and a nap on the couch. I've learned that a good way to get your home clean is to invite someone over for dinner. I've learned that our background and circumstances may be influenced from who we are, but we are responsible for who we become. And I've learned that when you are really stressed out, the cure is to put two miniature marshmallows up your nose and try to snort them out. And I've learned having three teenage sons at the same time as the same household is as close to temporary insanity as I'd ever want to be. I've learned that children, no matter what their age, are always hungry when they go to grandma's house. I've learned that the best time to go through your brother's stuff is when they're not at home. I've learned that a new baby changes all your priorities. I've learned that the best tranquilizer is a clear conscience. I've learned that the best way to succeed is to do small things well. I've learned that my wife's cooking is always good, no matter how bad it is. I've learned the best time to ask for dad is if you could do something is uh, when he's sleeping. I've learned that children sleep better if they have a hug and a kiss from both mom and dad. I've learned that there's always room for dessert. I've learned that there's nothing, nothing beats a hot summer's night, a car full of friends, a windows down, music playing, and whistling at girls. I've learned that my father saved me from many foolish acts with these words. Go ask your mother. I've learned that it's all worth it when you are doing a sink full of dishes and your 18-year-old comes up from behind you and gives you a big hug and says, what's that for? And she replies, no special reason. I've learned that I need to let my friends comfort me and hold me up to let me know that I need support. I know I need support and I'm not always as strong as I look or act. I've learned that when I'm waiting to see the doctor, I always wish I had a, I wish I had stuck to my diet. I've learned that scratches on furniture made when your children were little become fond memories as you grow and as they're gone. I've learned that as soon as you get rid of something that you haven't used in years, you need it the next week. I've learned that what we've done to ourselves alone dies with us, and what we've done for ourselves alone dies with us. For what we've done for others in the world remains, and it's immortal. I've learned that although I didn't understand the principles of gravity in high school and physics, I know when I look at my 15-year-old, when I look at my 50-year-old body, I've learned that sometimes when my friends divorce, I'm forced to choose sides even when I don't want to. And I've learned that you should always accept foreign exchange students in your home if given the chance. I've learned that I should not eat jalapenos the night before traveling. I've learned that there's something like the feel of warm mud between your toes. I've learned that sometimes all a person needs is a hand to hold or a heart to understand. I've learned that when I go to a cafeteria, I always eat too much. I've learned that a loving, faithful wife is his man's greatest treasure. I learned that if you wouldn't write it down and sign it, you probably shouldn't say it. I've learned that people will remember you as being a great conversationalist if you mostly listen. I've learned that there's a great feeling in independence when you buy your first silverware. I've learned that just one person saying to me, you've made my day, makes my day. I've learned that flipping through the channels is not annoying if I hold the remote. And I've learned that having a child fall asleep in your arms is one of the most peaceful feelings in the world. I've learned that having a party when your parents are out of town is taking a great risk. I've learned that I should never let my, my little brother take me for a ride in the golf cart. And I've learned that life is too short not to do the right, not to do it right the first time. I've learned that life is too short not to do it right the first time. I've learned that the best classroom in the world is at the feet of an elderly person. And I've learned that I shouldn't write anything in a letter from which I wanted or had it printed on from a page of a newspaper. And I've learned that if you want to go to parties, you have to give some parties. I've learned that no one can keep a secret. No one. I've learned that if I feel better about myself when I make others feel better about themselves. And I've learned that there's a great thrill in making pickles and jellies with the same friend I used to make mud pies with. I learned that being quiet doesn't always mean you have to you have nothing to say. I've learned that when you're in love, 
it shows. I've learned that there's nothing more soothing than the sound of a piano on a sun, sunny Sunday morning. I've learned that whenever my mom calls me on the phone to say hi, it always makes me smile. I've learned that a kindness done is never lost. It may take a while, but like a suitcase on a luggage carousel, it will return again.